put me on top. City on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, now one too far for me. Never caught off, now one day. Welcome everyone to Noche Enabia. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Reggie Jackson. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. And for the Lakers, at the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. Richard, what a fantastic matchup we have at the center position tonight. Two of the best in the NBA. It feels like a gladiator fight when two centers go at it. I expect it to be physical right from the start. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of foul trouble. That's always a big story in games like this. Now here's Murray. Porter in the corner. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Murray against Russell. Passes it to Davis. Back to Russell. Four on the shot clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And they're moving it up. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. The quick feet and hands of Caldwell Pope paying dividends at the defensive end. Russell looking around. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Reeves. And here's James outside. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. And the last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Hits it from three-point range. The selfless attitude of James. When someone on his team has a clean look, well, he feeds it. Murray, the pass to Jokic. And Davis sends it back. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Outside Gordon. There's the pass to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at five. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Oh, a fantastic passer at his position. Gordon stays alert and ready to pass to an open teammate. Now, here is Russell. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Here's James. Launches a three. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. Oh, my man way beyond the arc. D'Angelo. Snatch. Murray for three. That one's off. He's now one for two. Down low, here's Davis. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Jokic. Gordon finds Caldwell Pope. Carries it from three-point range. Caldwell Pope's got five points so far. Yeah, defenses beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rhythm. 
James in the post. Defended by Gordon. Back to Russell. For the three. And it's Denver with the rebound. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, despite the challenges of being away from home, they were able to execute cleanly and look really fresh out there. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Prince has checked in for LeBron. And a switcher also for Denver. Watson's checked in. Denver passing it around. Gordon kicks to Porter. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And a smooth shooting stroke off the catch. Porter clearly excels in those situations. Murray against Russell. One fifty-three left in the first. They grab their own miss. Here's Prince. And he converts the layup. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well. Cleaning it up and sending it right back. Pass to Watson. To the paint. Here's Porter. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Porter's got his second basket. And he's just adept at scoring it in so many ways. It's clear Porter very comfortable operating inside. Russell against Murray. Passes it to Hachimura. The tray. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Hachimura's got his second bucket of the night. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Murray dishes to Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now, here is Russell. Over to the left wing. Reeves the pass to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Gordon. And it's Davis missing. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Pass to Watson. And here's Gordon, who's guarded by Davis. Outside for Murray. Another three for Denver. And the backbone of Murray's game is that ability to scorch you from distance. Outside, Russell. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The Nuggets on top, ending the first quarter with a 13 to 5 run. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we. And as we return, it's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And I really like how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. So out there for the Nuggets right now, they've got Nikola Jokic. And it's Jackson in at the point. How about this? A lot of guys you played with are still in the league today. Does that affect your analysis of their play? Oh, 100%. Nothing about me is impartial. If I don't like somebody, I'll say it to them. And I'll say it on TV. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. All kidding aside, I respect all of these guys, and I try and be as fair as possible. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Count that one. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. They set the pick. There's Jackson with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Jackson's got the lead up to four now for the Nuggets. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And 
He's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Outside Jackson. The pass to Jokic over Hayes. It's rebounded by Hayes. And he's very confident from that range, but he can't make him off. And Hayes throws it down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players. Guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he's sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Hey, Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade-long prime break. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Dinwiddie. LA's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. Hayes, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson, using his poise and vision to make a play. Here's Russell, drives to the hoop, drops in the layup for two. Russell's got five points so far. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Jackson passes to Jokic. Outside, Gordon. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot over Russell. And it's Jokic missing. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. And the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm... very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Davis comes in for Jackson Hayes. And it's Austin Reeves in for Reddish. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Denver. Murray comes in for Caldwell Pope. Russell from long range. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got three assists in the game. Murray against Russell. Murray, no good. Lakers leading by three. Here's Russell. Eight points for him. Pass to LeBron. Back to Russell. Gordon against James. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Murray scanning the floor. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. LeBron outside. To Russell, three-pointer, drains it from beyond the arc, and it's a nine-point Laker lead. 
Nice play, and, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, time but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. change here. Prince has checked in. The Nuggets also changing it up. Zeke Naji comes in for Jokic. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Jackson. There's a minute left now here on the second. Caldwell Pope with the screen on Russell. Count it. Good. Murray's got seven points in the game. And Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their sprint. The pass to Prince shoots the three to the left side wing. Here's Reeves, and that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. And he goes in for the dunk. And you think Murray all about scoring, but Murray is about what helps his team win. Up top, Russell. He's covered by Murray. Pass to Reeves. Russell against Caldwell Pope. Passes to Reeves from outside the arc. Unable to get that one. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the Lakers. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Good to be with you for halftime. Let's check in on the NBA action coming up later tonight. The Los Angeles Clippers will be playing against the Pelicans out in New Orleans. That one gets started at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This is a game everyone had circled on their calendar, especially me, and it's finally happening. I don't want to talk. Let's get going. And turning our attention back to this game, guys, LeBron James had his fingerprints all over that first half. He's the player of his generation. The way LeBron is holding up, and maybe a couple of generations. Well, it's never a surprise to see him impose his will in the game. It's happening again tonight. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Here's Russell and Greg finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., Jokic finally had the help to get it done. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. And that one's good by Porter. 
and an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Good on the bucket. And look at Russell bringing the intensity. He's stronger now, willing to mix it up inside no matter who's on it. Wide open look here for Murray. A three-pointer off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Hachimura kicks to Russell. Pass to James. Three-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? with the bounce pass. And here's Jokic. Nothing on the board. Smooth like butter. Jokic can make you pay from anywhere. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. High post, Davis. Over Jokic. And it's Davis missing. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. Caldwell Pope outside. Inside. Here's Murray. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And I'm with the block. Look, the shooters are working hard, but he is all over. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Murray down low. Russell's there, and the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Free throw good, Murray. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. James looking around. Outside, Davis. On the clock. Murray against Russell. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. Reddish, he's checked in for Austin Reeves. And Denver with a change here, too. Jackson's checked in. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And Richard, with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score-first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. James cooking from deep. Well, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Such a wide-open look. Murray's got five points in the quarter. And there's no doubt Murray can fill it up. Good luck bringing him down to earth when he's on this kind of a roll. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Kevin, thank you. Nikola Jokic amazes teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. Here's Murray. Again, the miss by Murray. Lakers leading by 14. 139 left to play in the third. LeBron outside. Good. 
good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got five assists in the game, and he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Murray, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Gordon against James. Gordon dishes to Caldwell Pope. Plays it up and banks it in. Caldwell Pope's got his third bucket of the night. And part of an overall effort for Contavious going for higher percentage shots. That time working inside. And the Lakers with some changes. Jackson A's, he's checked in for James. Torian Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Russell. And there it is for him. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Jackson up top, guarded by Reddish. Jackson with it. Five points in the game. Good as the jump shot falls. Jackson's got seven points in the game. And textbook use of the pick and roll by Jackson, disrupting the defense and getting himself a look. To the left wing. Here's Reddish. And another three for the Lakers. And those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been triples. Here's Jackson. He misses off the right iron. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Reddish the pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Reddish. It's Prince on the wing. So it's Los Angeles feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. That is why he is a point guard in this league. He has the elite passing ability, the vision. You need both to play the point guard. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. They've got Jackson. And it's Watson in a power forward position. Outside for Jackson. Jokic with the screen on Dinwiddie. Here's Jackson. Rebound the Lakers. Now here's Dinwiddie. Now the pass to Reddish. One falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. Outside Jackson. Pass to Jokic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with Jokic now a finals MVP and an NBA champion, Greg, he's already an all-time great. It could go down as one of the greatest players ever. He started to pile up the hardware and awards. Amazing what he could accomplish the next few years. And Jokic drops them both. And here is Los Angeles now. James outside. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. This is it to Dinwiddie. He's looking for Hayes and finds him. Over Jokic. Hayes, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. To the inside. Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. 
Oh, Jokic with attitude there. Love it. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Los Angeles Lakers. 16-point lead. Here's Rush. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Jackson misses. Lakers leading by 19 points. Over in the corner, Reddish. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Right side, Jackson. Drilled from 11 feet out. Can't give Jackson any airspace from there because he's going to make you pay. Timeout called the Lakers. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Jackson Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Torian Prince. Austin Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And it's Russell in for Dinwiddie. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. And come on, what are you doing when LeBron is pulling off those dribble moves? Like, if you're the defense, you just keep it pushing. Murray, good. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. James in the high post. He's against Gordon. Reeves can't hit. The Nuggets trail by 19. Murray outside. He dishes it to Porter. Caldwell Pope outside. No good from outside. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. James outside. The pass to Davis. Here's Hachimura. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point land. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Hachimura. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. The Nuggets have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Russell against Murray. And stolen by Russell. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. Denver's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. Lakers leading by 22. Here's James. Score the basket for his 10th bank. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer, but this man also knows how to get cooking. They get the rebound, and a wide open look for Porter. Misses the three. Los Angeles has gone to three point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Russell with it. Now guarded by Murray. Pass to LeBron, launches it. That shot misses. Gordon with the defensive effort. Denver's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And really an important win from a pride standpoint. Nobody likes getting swept. So they're able to salvage a win in this four game season series. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. And let's go. Oh, how about that slam? And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. Here's Murray. 36 seconds left in the game. 
On the high post, he gets that one. And the mid-range seeming effortless for Murray. He's got a touch that makes that shot a good option for him. James against Gordon. Pass to Russell. Fires the three. Denver grabs the miss. Murray outside. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Here's Najee. Laker foul, Jackson Hayes. His fourth personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for Denver. First one falls for him. Taking two shots. And he can't hit the second. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much. LeBron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And now... We present the New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James.